Today I'm treating our strawberry plants for gray mold. Gray mold is a fungal disease caused by Botrytis cinerea. And we had quite a problem in our strawberry bed last season with gray mold. So this year I want to make a preventative treatment using a microbial biopesticide to try to manage that. And the product I'm using is called Plant Guardian and it has um, an active ingredient derived from the bacteria Bacillus subtilis. Now this same active ingredient can be found in other product labels like Serenade. And of course this is an organic method. You can also find some conventional pesticides to treat botrytis. Whichever you choose, what you want to make sure is that the label has both your target plant, the strawberry, and also your target disease, botrytis, on the label so that you know it's safe and will be effective against that disease. Now for application, the nice thing about these um, biopesticides is that we use equipment that's very familiar to us. And we want to make applications every seven to 10 days, and we want to spray until it's running off the plant. And make some, you know, wear some rubber gloves so you can get in there and move the plant around so that you get a real good coverage on the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. Now this product happens to be safe to apply right up to the day of harvest, but certain fungicides require a waiting period between application and harvest. And again, you could find that information on your product label, and you'll want to be sure to read that so you can stop applying as you approach the day of harvest. Now when it's really rainy out, we sometimes need to increase our applications to every five to seven days. Uh, in fact, rain can make it very difficult to control gray mold. Um, some things we can use to try to overcome this problem is to maintain good air circulation in our bed. So look at the area around your bed. If you have some big shrubs right up next to it, you might want to thin those back. If you're establishing a new bed, try to identify a location where the air moves freely, which will dry the foliage. We can also use our straw that we had in the winter over our crops as a mulch, and this will help reduce uh, any spores that are already in the soil from splashing up onto the plants and reinfecting those. And then if we happen to see any diseased material this season, we wanna remove as much of that as possible and destroy it or throw it in the garbage, get it off property so that it's not here as an inoculum for next year. There are a few strawberries that are resistant to gray mold. You could find these in HLA fact sheet 6214, Growing Strawberries in the Home Garden.